Now, law enforcement forensics types uh, will talk about Locard's principle of exchange, uh, which says that uh, a criminal uh, at a crime scene will always take away something with him. You know, they're talking about trace evidence. Um, and will leave something behind. Uh, now this... Um, and they would also talk about characteristics of the crime scene. Um, on first glance, uh, this may not seem to be fairly useful or, or relevant when we're dealing with digital systems, when we're dealing with digital intrusions. After all, uh, the person is not physically present. There's no, uh, you know, hairs, DNA, dust, uh, trace uh, to collect and analyze. Um, but that, uh, you know, is, is fairly superficial. Um, now, I, yes, you know, we don't have dust and we don't have DNA, but we do have a uh, connection. Um, the, the person who is making the intrusion um, has to have a connection to the system, even if it is uh, through a variety of other systems. Um, even if it is using uh, software to uh, itself hop from system to system so that the attacker never actually uh, enters a command to uh, the target system. But there are characteristics of the crime scene and there are things that are exchanged. Um, and... Uh, these give us uh, pieces of evidence that we can use to uh, look at um, issues of identification of the attacker, uh, the motivation of the attacker. Um, yeah, you know, there there is evidence, and and there is. Uh, material exchanged here. It's not the same as the physical, uh, but it's evidence. So, um, let us look, therefore, at the, the characteristics of the crime scene and, you know, what has this person done? Um, I, again, the, the risk analysis that we talked about before, you know, is this person... Um, motivated to attack this system um, does uh, what he has attacked and the way he has attacked it indicate a, uh, a level of motivation um, that may mean that they have left evidence of themselves and their activities their identity uh, in some ways uh, have there been attempts to conceal the activities um, and and what level of attempts uh, you know what's the skill set um, of the person coming in look at the the point of ingress uh, the method of initiation of the attack um, does this indicate that this person is just you know, a script kitty trying to get in anywhere or does this indicate that this is somebody who really seriously wants to get into this particular system and obtain specific information uh, that is only to be found on, on this system um, is this person really intent at getting this? Have there been multiple uh, attempts to break in? Um, and particularly, have there been multiple attempts that use different 
uh, methods of initiation of the attack. So, um, you know, what's the skill level? What's the motivation? Uh, this gives us information. It's, it's really interesting. Um, when uh, I uh, was early on, as I was um, working with uh, uh, computer viruses, I was also, in my day job, um, dealing with uh, reviewing of uh, different pieces of software. And um, finding the uh, sort of cultural baggage of uh, different tools that people would be familiar with coming through in the way they programmed their own applications. Uh, so I could tell, you know, what programming language uh, the person uh, was comfortable with, even if they were using a different programming language to produce this particular piece of software. Um, I could tell from the user interface uh, what kinds of tools, what kinds of utilities this person was familiar with. Um, and, uh, you know, in, in those days, that gave you something of a uh, cultural identity of uh, this programmer. Um, you know, where did they come from? Where did they learn? Who their friends were? Uh, those types of things uh, that we could find out just simply by looking at the way this program uh, presented itself to the user. Um, the same thing is, is possible in terms of uh, types of attacks uh, that people are, are used to, um, the support that they may have, uh, the specialties that they may have in, in certain areas, but weaknesses in others, um, indicating that they're part of uh, perhaps a larger group originally, um, and may still be part of or, or may have broken off from. But, you know, this, this gives us information uh, that we uh, can use to uh, help our investigation, to further our investigation, to uh, identify the attacker, um, to see what kind of resources the attacker has, and, and whether or not we're going to see um, this attacker again. Uh, so, you know, this, this analysis, uh, skill levels, um, cultural backgrounds, uh, community backgrounds, uh, you know, all of this is available to us if we carefully record what has gone on in the course of the attack.